Uh, well, thank you very much for the invitation. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to talk a little bit about um, our experience with this issue area, with the topic of accessibility in, in South Seoul here. Uh, as Cordula already said, uh, my name is uh, Maximilian Balda. I'm from the Center for Advanced Studies uh, from uh, OREC Research. <clears throat> and we are uh, managing the observatory here in South Tyrol. And with me today is Günther Enemoso. He is from Independent L. Um, uh, and he is our main uh, expert in, in this topic of, uh, of accessibility, but he will um, talk to you uh, in a little bit. Um, so what we are what we plan to do today is give you a short overview of uh, what our process was to include this um, issue area um, or this, this topic into the, into the observatory. That will be my part. And then furthermore, um, Günther is going to give you a little bit of an overview of, um, of the topic of accessibility here in the province and especially also what they as independent L um, are doing in, in this regard. Um, but let's start at the beginning, uh, the, so the starting point. Um, I have to say that South Tyrol is, um, or the topic of sustainability is a big topic in South Tyrol. Um, it's uh, um, the region or the government wants to become one of the leading sustainable um, regions in Europe or in the world. Um, and that's why sustainability is a topic in, in all the different uh, sectors um, in our in our day to day life. Uh, this is also true for the tourism sector. Um, um, yeah, enterprises here or the government um, tries to to stimulate, uh, uh, yeah, to work with uh, to work with uh, example. They work a lot with um, um, with labels. They work a lot on on this topic of sustainability. And when I say sustainability, and then we come already to the to the big but. Um, Sustainability mostly is connected to uh, ecological uh, goals, ecological topics, and the social topics or the social uh, sustainability is a little bit, um, yeah, gets a little bit brushed under the table. Uh, and there, I have to be frank, um, this means that accessibi also accessibility um, is not this much of a topic uh, here in South Tyrol when we talk about sustainability, but uh, I guess uh, Günther will talk uh, about that uh, shortly. Um, and this, yeah, to be honest, also in our um, in our um, observatory, accessibility was uh, until uh, last year was never a big topic for us. We never really thought about it, but uh, thanks to the Insta Network and thanks to uh, thanks to the UNWTO. Um, it became a topic and we started uh, to further think about it uh, and now we are very happy to include also this important uh, issue area in our in our observatory um, so uh, what did we do um, when we heard about this new or when we when this issue area was included into the into the issue areas of the Insta network um, we kind of started from the bottom we start from zero um, nobody of us uh, and uh, us, I mean um, me and my, my colleagues that work uh, for the observatory or on the observatory, we are, we are, nobody was uh, really a, a, an expert in the fields of accessibility. Um, so we started uh, looking around, we started to look uh, into the research, uh, into the literature and, and try to together um, kind of like a grasp of, of the topic itself. We started quite, quite broad, quite theoretically and then start to, to dig a little bit deeper into also the practical side. Uh, and looking also into the practical side, obviously we also looked at um, on a more local level, we looked at what is happening already in South Tyrol um, in general with accessibility and access, accessible uh, matters, and uh, especially also in the connection with, uh, with tourism, what is happening there. Uh, and uh, we were quite happy that we um, found um, Independent L and especially their website South Tyrol for Everybody or in, in German Süd Tyrol für Alle. Um, this is a website um, especially um, targeting tourists that come to, to, to South Tyrol. Um, uh, but uh, I guess I give the word to, uh, to Günther and let him explain what they do and what they work on. Please go ahead, Günther. Thank you and welcome to my side to everyone. Um, briefly independent, what we do at Laria province-wide counseling center for people with disabilities 
Yeah. Um, sorry, Günther, are you not very clear to hear, not loud enough. Can you maybe increase the volume? Is it better with the headset? Much yeah. better. Thank okay. you very much for that. And I just wanted to briefly introduce you in what we are, what we do. We are a province-wide counseling center for people with disabilities, and we are recognized competence center also in the fields of accessibility, domotics, and assistive technologies. Um, currently, actually, we are working also on the behalf of EDM, that is the regional developer. Um, and our, yes, our task is to present South Tyrol as an attractive holiday destination for everybody. That's to say, in particular, also for elderly people, families and guests with disabilities. And uh, at the same time, actually, in these last weeks, we are also involved in the official working group of the organizing committee of the Winter Olympics Milan Cortina in the field of uh, inclusion and accessibility. Uh, Maximilian, next slide, please. Yes, this is just uh, a short slide to introduce you briefly in the changed or new view of disability according to the International Classification of Functioning Disability and Health. Um, ECF, ECF defines disability less by individual characteristics such as physical impairments, but rather by various in the environment and by maybe also the negative behavior or the wrong behavior of others. That can be, for example, just a bicycle parked on the tactile guidelines for people with disabilities. Or another practical example can be that um, one and the same person in a wheelchair in a city maybe uh, can take the barrier free city bus from home to work. And uh, maybe whereas the same person living in a side valley next to the city would maybe not be able to do so because there is generally uh, maybe just no barrier-free bus route in, in the area. And uh, that's why our vision is really an accessible, inclusive tourism for everybody and not at all just a tourism for people in wheelchair. I say this so clearly because this is often some a bit of a problem. Um, and the consequence of this really, really strong brand uh, wheelchair symbol, this person uh, and this symbol, you know, uh, you know, all just used uh, a lot and everywhere in the communication regarding inclusion and therefore maybe forgetting many other needs, such as example, the requirements of guests with, uh, like we heard before, uh, visual or hearing impairments. And in tourism, we should therefore always think about an inclusive design for all based on international standards. Um, here, a concrete example can be not think more about uh, making an, a public toilet for men and women and a disabled toilet, but making um, a public toilet for men with uh, maybe a facility to change um, to change uh, the baby and accessible and the same thing for the women. That could be uh, the new standard uh, thinking in terms of design for all. Next slide, please. This is actually what we are doing since 20 years. We have been running the specialized information platform South Tyrol for All, Alto Adige per tutti, Südtirol für alle. And uh, first of all, the project is recognized as best praxis at European level. It was financed by the European Social Fund. It's obviously also characterized by its digital web accessibility. And uh, maybe the most important thing is the particular added value we give to it. It's that we try to provide our end user with reliable and verified information. And we are doing this through on-site service. Uh, that means that for this user-oriented um, description of accessibility, uh, we are using the international standard. It's called IGVAE. It's an Italian um, word abbreviation that stands for Informazione Garantita dalla Valutazione dell'Accessibilità in base alle proprie esigenze. It's um, to say translated somehow the assessment of accessibility uh, regarding uh, the own needs. And uh, doing so, we actually allow the user to decide for himself whether the offer shown fulfills his needs and requirements 
describing exactly how the service works and how it runs in detail. So for each area, the parking space, it's the accesses, the ramps, the door, etc. Um, a technical survey form is completed by our staff, uh, collecting all the technical measurements like the ramp gradient, the door width, etc. And then all these areas are also documented photographically and we do uh, somehow the degree of accessibility is assessed with, with smileys as well, from one to five smileys to indicate the grade or the value of accessibility. Uh, next slide, I would pass the speech to, to Maximilian briefly. Uh, yeah, you talked about that, sorry. Um, uh, slide, Maximilian, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Thank you, Günther. Uh, yeah, as you can hear, um, they are quite busy and they are the, the people doing uh, the things. Uh, we at the observatory are more, um, let's say, the observers. Uh, um, and so we try to think about, um, and that's, I guess, also for other observatories and for all the HVRs, it's always the kind of like the big issue. How do we quantify this? How do we uh, measure this in, in, in numbers? And now we can show kind of like a progress or another progress uh, over the years. Uh, so in a brainstorming session together with Gunther, uh, we talked or we uh, we decided to, to use their database, uh, which I will show you in, in, on the next slide. Um, so the database that Independent L is using to also uh, inform software for, for everybody, software for all. Um, and there extract all uh, data on accessible gastronomy and accommodation facilities on one side and then accessible cultural facilities and free time activities on the other side. So we thought um, this might give a little bit of insight in both um, the accommodation situation, so when the tourist, where are the tourists staying, and also on the other side, uh, what can the tourists do here in South Tyrol. Um, I have to note, though, that this, uh, all of these uh, accommodation and gastronomy gastronomy um, and free time activities are labeled ac accessible by uh, the standards of independent L that uh, Günther uh, just explained now. There are obviously also other standards uh, and sometimes yeah, um, hotels um, label themselves as accessible, but um, yeah, it, that's not always uh, the case. Um, that's also why uh, the number might seem so low here. We have uh, over 10,000 um, accommodation, um, yeah, ac accommodation facilities in South Tyrol. Um, here our, in our indicator, or our three indicators, you can uh, see that in 2022, uh, 365 of them were labeled accessible by Independent L, which does not mean that all the other ones are not accessible. It, it only means that 365 uh, of the hotels were labeled after their uh, after their um, control. Um, yeah, it's uh, um, it would obviously be nice that, that every every uh, hotel uh, or every uh, accommodation facility, every gastronomy facility would be um, could be checked. But that obviously is 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 a lot of work. Um, yeah. So this is the the three. Um, data points that we give as information um, just shortly about where we get it from or um, how it looks like also on the website of of uh, for alle search for all um, so uh, every information that they give on the on the website is geo referenced so um, if a tourist goes on their website and, and looks for hotels or looks for activities they can do um, they can find it here also on the map and that's where we uh, get the, the data from um, we use this data in a slight different ways because it's an interactive map on, on the website of, of Independent or Sudo of Alle. Um, we just represent the data. Um, we do it also on a map, but more as a, on an informational level. Uh, and this is the map that we um, show also in our, in our uh, Insta um, report at the end. Um, yeah, this is uh, mainly it. Um, Thank you also to um, to our colleague from Malaga. It was very interesting. Uh, maybe we can we can stay in touch. If any one of you uh, has some questions uh, to me or to Günther, you can always um, contact us directly. Um, thank you very much.